Guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution and I'm here to bring you a postcard from Spirit for the month of April. Keep in mind it's general, so if you feel it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, don't make it fit, but go about your day and know that no matter what messages we get from Spirit or um, what, what cards we get, because I may pull some tarot, I'm not sure, but it's still up to you guys and your active free will and the choices you make and the steps you take to get your fulfillment. So I do just want to say, guys, that I apologize for not having um, a lot of the readings out lately. My throat has been scratchy, and I've been super, super, super tired and run down. So it's, it's just a matter of balancing everything out. But I want to get this message out for you for April. So if you do see a little dust, I apologize. I'm trying to use the sun, and there's dust in the air. I can't help it. But um, if you would like to see them as orbs, feel free. <laughs> I don't think they are, though. So I'm just going to take this moment, I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to jump in, to guard, guide, bless, and protect this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, guys, remember, all you need to do is ask your angels and guides in your life, they're, they're here for you. Okay, so let's see here, I'm going to ask my team of light to jump in as well, and Spirit, can you tell us, what's one card for anyone watching for the overall message of April? What is one message for April? And this is by Colette Baron Reed, the postcard from Spirit Oracle, just in case you're interested. Thank you. So, bottom of the deck, though, I'm being asked to look at that too, is there's a heart with love. Yeah, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? That's what I was being asked to take a look at. And then at the top, too, before, is just the hair and fast movement. Live your dreams. So this is important, I feel like. We have, are you, you are divine beauty. And here we have, like, this woman. It's hard to see, but standing here with two angels or cherubs kind of, like, um, adorning her or adoring her. There's maybe three. There's a bunch of them all around, though, so you're surrounded. So let's listen. Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence. And even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. So how I said here, right? They're just adoring her. The universe adores you, and the universe is asking you to remember you are divine beauty. Remember that everything is in divine timing, divine order, and everything is kind of in miraculously perfect order, even if it doesn't feel like it in your life. So make those changes, take those steps, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, and move forward in your plans or move forward in here in your life. But just keep on moving forward, okay? Spring has sprung. We are in April. <coughs> Excuse me. Where I am, there's a lot of winter. There's still winter weather, right? Still some stormy mixed emotions in the air, I feel like. Um, and still, Mercury is direct for anybody who had been watching and, uh, like, um, resonating with the Mercury retrograde aspect, but there still could be some sort of lingering shadow aspects or something still coming around. So remember that even if you're encountering difficult situations, I just heard dangerous situations as well. So try and keep yourself safe, guys. That's really, really important. Um, but know that you are... Okay, I'm also okay. When you're guided to take steps, when you know your intuition is saying, this is what I need to do, follow that. But know that the law of cause and effect is super important. And it's one of these things where we can plan ahead and we can try to use that energy in our favor. I've done this because I want this to happen. And I'm also hearing, like, mindful, right? With, with for whoever, if you've re, um, resonated, my... Mercury retrograde still got my brain a little bit, um, but 
if if there's dangerous situations the I'm hearing a lot of cause and effect like use use your ability to get out of those how can I what can I do to affect change to get out of this situation um, or what actions have caused me to be in this situation those kinds of things just think it through but know that using your imagination and instead of reacting to what's right in front of you take a few minutes connect with your breast space excuse me I, I just heard know that everything is going to be okay and I think that's why we were drawn to the bottom so I'm going to read it for you okay did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now miracles start to happen there is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance let go of unrealistic expectations and th see things as they really are not how you'd like them to be you'll be surprised how everything seems to fall into place when you refuse to accept things life gets messy you act messy and your world stays in chaos tension and disarray but don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances instead learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. So this is really important as well with the law of cause and effect. The more we hold on to old, outdated belief systems or things that are simply not true, the more that we hold on for things that are not for us, the harder it gets for us and the more the universe... I hear like jump start is what I'm hearing, but like the more the universe is going to start throwing things in, in your path to remind you, ah, oh, whoa, you know. So some of you this month could be um, working through some past karma, it could be past life karma, could be working through the effects of something that's been put into motion before, okay. So like this card was saying. But know that just accept the way that your life is going. Accept your plans. Accept your dreams as well. And know that be mindful of your actions. Okay, that, that's more what I'm hearing. Be mindful of your actions and be mindful of your reactions and um, her tensions. Retention is one of the words here, right? So try and move with the flow move with the ebb and flow of life okay more like go with the flow is what i'm hearing so i am going to pull in some tarot spirits for anyone watching this is the postcard for spirit for april with this situation is there anything that you would have us know how can um okay thank you oh. so what i was asking is how can anyone watching move through with acceptance and we get the three of swords in the reverse so this way, it's about heartbreak. Remove yourself from heartbreak. Remove yourself to the of the attachment to heartbreak, because if we're constantly seeing right um, with with this card, if we're constantly seeing ways that the universe has brought heartbreak to us, and we're constantly thinking that everything in our life is going to be like this, well, it'll give you situations to show you, because you create your reality. So if you are mindful of even the choices you make on how you think, and this isn't easy. If if you've had your heart broken, don't don't dwell on that. Don't stay there. Okay? Life gets messy. Excuse me, sorry I'm pushing my table. But life gets messy. And sometimes life gets messy when you're not on the right path. Heartbreak comes in and now it's like, but move through them. Every step. It acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities so let yourself and others be free freeing yourself from heartbreak tell me about the three of swords please spirit thank you and we have the page of cups it was in the reverse as well but let's see here thank you You have three of cups as well in the upright. And the seven of wands in the reverse. <clears throat> and the knight of cups at the bottom. And I was asked to bring this deck in, which was funny. So, um, like, spirit was very out of it. This, this deck had to come in. Okay. So, <clears throat> page of cups. 
was in reverse. I'm going to flip it over and not read it in reverse, but I feel like there's just, there's a block. Potentially going forward with the Three of Cups as well that's come out, and this is happiness and fulfillment, and it's in the upright. Um, and the Seven of Wands in the reverse here. It's like, to move into your happiness and to be able to move and offer this cup of love, to walk forward and say, hey, this is for you or with yourself um, because you have the page and the night, okay? It's going to take self-acceptance is what I'm hearing. Removing yourself out of the burden of heartbreak and removing yourself out of the feelings of frustration and competition and just not knowing which way to go here, not being able to move because, you know, everyone's got, like, their pitchfork or, like, you know, their their weapon of choice, their staff in the way. And I heard my, I heard, um, remove yourself from the idea of competition. Because you do have the Three of Cups with the Three of Swords, even though they're, they're in the reverse, regardless of whether it's a romantic situation, whether it's family and friends, or if there's just been a lot of heartbreak, it's this this month, Spirit saying, you know what, remember the law of cause and effect. If you are constantly trying to work through heartbreak and constantly thinking that, you know, there's there's space in the world where there's there's competition and you don't know where to go, and it's not, I'm hearing ankle biters as well, right? There's somebody always willing to chomp, or someone chomping at the bit to, to kind of, um, to see where you're going to go, even. The Empress is at the bottom and the reverse as well. and the five of wands. It's a struggle with the empress in reverse here. The more we come to acceptance of past situations, of even our current situations, even though things may be very difficult, emotionally unstable is what I'm hearing, um, they could have been in the past, the more you can accept the world you're living in right now and what it looks like and what it looks like for you, it will automatically start to remove yourself from the broken heart and help you move forward because you're not stuck in a previous state dealing with old stuff and not being able to offer. It's because once you can accept that, that is allowing happiness to come in and removing yourself from any doubt as well. Oh, the sun really came in. That's crazy. But removing any doubt as well um, for you to go forward. I'm wondering if it's going to come back, the light. That's kind of weird, huh, guys? Maybe Spirit really didn't want this message to get out, but I have the High Priestess, and you can't see the card, and I don't think I can even, um, if it comes, let's come back. <laughs> Way too much light. Okay. Nope. Okay, that was the strangest thing. That reading's not going anywhere. 